So this is really the welcome from the International Organising Committee. First, I'd like to thank Kate Willett and the Local Organising Committee for getting us all here. I think Local Organising Committee is a bit of a misnomer. It's basically Kate who got us all here. <laughs> so I think we should all put our hands together for Kate. And make it <laughs> see so many people here. It truly is international. It truly is interdisciplinary as well. And that's important because certainly in the climate community, but I'm guessing in every other community, we love our acronyms and we love our language that is totally understandable to our own community, but miss of just, uh, just gobbledygook to everyone else. And I went to a meeting where they had Working Group 1 and Working Group 2 of IPCC together, and Working Group 2 folks, who are all these impacts folks, may as well have been speaking Swahili, and I may as well have been speaking double Dutch. I understood the language, it was English, but if you try to string more than three words together, it was gone. Okay, so keep your technical jargon to a minimum. Try to avoid excessive use of acronyms and also recognize that all voices and perspectives are important. There is a reason why we have brought metrologists, statisticians, IT experts here. It is so that they have a voice. They, have, they can bring useful things in. We cannot do everything as the climate community. So the climate community learn to be quiet sometimes and learn that other people's perspectives are important. The outcomes are certainly not predefined. This meeting creates the project. Thus far, this project, at the point where it went to the proposal to the Commission for Climatology, was an idea of five or six people in a meeting room in Exeter. That does not make an international project, fundamentally. We put the white papers together because if we'd started from scratch, we probably would have got to the first point in the thing in, the thing in three days. So the white papers are there fundamentally, so we're not starting from scratch. The white paper authors were selected by the International Organising Committee to represent diverse perspectives. But fundamentally, you, all of you, over the, next, over the course of the next three days, define what this project will be. So it's important you participate actively. We'll certainly try and make sure that everyone has a voice in the grey camps, at the very least, and preferably if there are important issues, bring them up in the plenary. Expected outcomes, and this is important, we don't expect agreement on paragraphs of text at the end of this. Totally unrealistic. We need a longish list of principles that we, should, that we agree should form the basis for the effort going forwards. We need a roadmap of how we might proceed without necessarily getting into the specifics of who or how, because people will have to go back to their institutions and discuss with their management. We need to avoid, like the play, duplication of effort with other activities. We need to exploit synergies. We do not live in a world where there is a massive pot of gold. If there is at the end of the rainbow, I certainly didn't see it on the rainbow that there was this morning. So we need to exploit synergies wherever they exist. We certainly need a, to, an agreed method to engage more broadly with the numerous applicable specialities in the general public. The climate community, like any other community, has been guilty of looking inwardly. It's nice and crazy when you're talking to your mates. We need fundamentally not to do that. This needs to be broad. This needs to bring in the perspectives and the expertise from multiple stakeholders. I expect an agreement as to how the process is to be governed so that we know how, what, who we're answering to, how often, how we're doing that answering, what preferably some of the assessment points are. Is this worth continuing? Because there's no point kicking something off that's open-ended if we need some framework to work within. Hoped for outcomes, and this is all about building momentum. I would like to leave here with a number of specific activities that institutions or groups will carry out as part of the effort. That could be further meetings on specifics. It could be a promise to do some research of some kind. It could be specific archival work, special journal issues, any number of things. That's a very finite list, but we need to start building momentum. This is not a talking shop. This cannot be solely a talking shop. Office of historical data would be particularly well. Offers of resources or in-kind contributions. 
some thinking about ways to engender financial support for the effort. And a core set of volunteers to take on the agreed key government's roles. I would like to see people who've been at this meeting take on, at least initially, the governance roles, because they have been at this meeting, they know what has been discussed. They are already, in some sense, warmed up. 